Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So that first look, yes, I've had a haircut and yes, I've had a different style. I've had a lot of hair cut off and hopefully you can tell, hopefully you can tell and it's a, it's a complete change for me. It's taking some getting used to. We're going to run through the features today of what's different. So right from the start, the hair cuts I've actually had. So if you think my hair was touching my top lip and in the evening when I was washing all that product out of my hair from what I wore in the day, it was beginning to be a lot to manage. It was all in length. It was very, very sort of sitting very flat. Um, and I'm I'm somebody who always likes to look look good, look sort of smart. And because of one, one thing and another at the moment going on, I have to always sort of be ready to go just to be able to launch out the door. Um, that possibly I will cover a little bit later on. Um, so and that, that means whether being ready day and night so for me I have to I have to always look my uh, best particularly any time of the day and hair wise very often how my hair length was it was all down to my uh, top lip it was very kind of untidy if I didn't use quite a lot of products or if I didn't use particular shampoos and conditioners to control my hair and keep it into that nice style and shape as well as then throwing on top a blow dryer it was quite difficult um, would it be a style and a length I'd have again yes absolutely in the future um, but now I really was a little bit bored with my hairstyle wanted some Something a bit more fresher, a bit more trendy, and a bit more youthful, modern, um, but still looking professional, sleek, and really, really smart. So, what have I had done? So, my hair, as we've discussed, was to my top lip. Now, my hair sits literally to the bridge of my nose. So, I've had about three inches cut off my hair. Um, the particular lady who cuts my hair, I knew her from school right back then um, and I've had a really good rapport on, um, with her and she's cut my hair for many years now. Um, I've tried a few uh, different barbers and a few different hairstylists um, but I always do come back to uh, this particular lady who does my hair incredibly well. Um, now the thing is what I would always say about when you're looking at changing your hairstyle is that to have a, a good rapport with whoever cuts your hair. It's good if they have an understanding of you as a person and what you like and what you necessarily don't like and what you're trying to achieve. For example, the lady who does my hair knows that I can be very self-conscious of my hearing aids. Some days I go and get my hair cut and I'm absolutely fine, I don't have a problem at all. Other days I'm really self-conscious, I even hate taking my hearing aids out for a haircut. Um, I have to really be really discreet, sometimes I go bright red and it's quite embarrassing. Other times I'm laughing, joking, I'm having a conversation, if I don't hear something that's not a problem, I'll say pardon 20 maybe a little bit more than that throughout the whole duration of having my hair cut. Um, but that's just the point. Sometimes I'm more confident than others. So first of all, I went in, I sat in the chair and uh, I explained what I wanted to have done. Um, I said I wanted something completely different, fresh and really a change. My hair was good. There wasn't It wasn't in bad condition or anything like that. It was just long and it was long for me and it was just really quite, you had to do a lot with it to get to get at how I wanted to look it, how it wanted, I wanted my hair to look. So I suggested I wanted to do something quite extreme and I wanted to go really short, really short and spiky. But however, because she knows me being a little bit conscious, she said that that's fine and we can certainly do that. But however, I just want you to be sure, Bradley, because I know sometimes you can be really a little bit conscious of your hearing aids. She said it will be fine. It will really, really suit you. But just be sure. And I thought to myself, OK, so let's not jump into it straight away. So we cut about um, we cut about two inches off, first of all, which was nice. Um, I have the, the back is a lot shorter. So just looking at the back here, as you can see, the back is I mean, that there was about I mean, my, my front was literally touching my top lip. And I'd say the back of my hair was that much. Uh, maybe about four inches, maybe about four inches, I would say, possibly a little bit longer than that. And the back of my hair was getting to the point where I was styling my hair off to one side. And it was that long, it was starting to come back around this side of my head. And then vice versa, when I was doing it that side, it would come back around here. So to get everything swooping down into that nice point, that nice sort of arid feature I like, it was taking a lot, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Not a problem when you've got the time, of course, but if you're in a rush or if you need to leave quickly or anything like that. So with that in mind, I had this taken in really, really short. Do I like it? Yes, I absolutely do. Now, as you can see, it's very short, very short in the back. And that's what I really quite like, something fresh and new. And the front of my hair is actually, we've gone from top of my lip, literally, to this part here. And when I had it first cut off, as I say, I had two inches, 
We cut it through and I still thought it was a bit too long. I wanted that bit more of a change. So I had about another inch cut off of it as well. Now, you may think that I've still got a little bit of length around here, which I have indeed. But I'd say I've got about this much length here in the front. So literally, no, sorry, this much length down here in the front, shorter, uh, to about the, the sort of start of my nose here. Ideal length I have always wanted to keep was to my nose, but I wanted such a change this time. Towards the back, we get shorter and shorter and shorter, like step down. Then throughout my hair, this time, and this is something I never used to like because I had it done once and I didn't like how it made my hair feel. By the way, if you can hear a sound outside, we're having another name storm um, and it's absolutely incredible. The wind, the rain, it's just absolutely atrocious at the moment. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. Can't even go out today because it's so, so severe. It's really awful weather. Um, so going back to my hairstyle. So the front, I've had cut at a length, which is to my nose. I've always usually liked to keep it to the bottom here but wanted a complete different change. So then we've gone sort of shorter, and then a little bit behind we've gone shorter, and then shorter, and then really tight towards the back of my neck into this nice shape, sort of arrowed down feature. Then throughout my hair, at the ends, I've had something which, as I said, I was just going on to say, I never really liked, I had it done once, and being I've got fine texture hair, it made my hair a little bit see-through, a little bit too fine, um, too choppy which is having your hair cut into and having it thinned out. Now you might think if somebody's got concerns of having fine hair, why on earth would you cut into it with thinning shears? Well, here's why. If you are creating a style and you want that lift, very often a lot of people know me for having big volumized hair with a lot of hair on one side swooped down over, which is great. I wanted something new, but I still wanted that ability to be able to lift my hair up. Now, when you've got fine textured hair, you might think that would be the last thing in the world to do. But actually, you're not cutting the length away. So if you've cut the length of your hair to the point of how you want it, and then if you cut through towards the ends, or even lower with thinning shears, if you're cutting that in, what you're actually doing, those short hairs inside, so the actual visible length is still quite long, but the actual internal sort of hairs, which you've had thinned out with thinning shears, that gives the hair support and structure. And that's what I've had done, cut all the way through. With that being done, what's really, really nice, because then I can come and I can style my hair, and... I don't have to use so much hair product. Yes, of course, it's shorter, but it's shorter. And then I've gone even shorter underneath with the cutting in and the thinning. I haven't had loads cut out. I've had it done majorly once before and I really regretted it. Now I really, really like it. I've used shampoo and conditioner this morning and I have then started with no other products at all. Just literally rough dry off with a towel. I haven't used a hairdryer or anything today at all. I've used no brushes. I've used no combs in pulling it into shape or anything like that at all. I wanted something fresh, new and different. So then I've just got my hair quite wet, damp, let it just sort of dry off naturally a little bit and then it's still moist. What I've gone in with is I've gone in with VO5 lifting paste. Now this is a fav one of my favourite products in my hair sort of armour and go-to of sort of products which I've got. This is for outstanding lift and fuller hair with re reworkable body and hold. Now, what you would think, I've just said I've had my hair cut into, if I'm looking at a product for thicker hair, that's because once I've had it cut into, it gives my hair structure. So now what I can just do from this morning is when my hair was just washed through, rather than using a blow dryer to get that lift, I've got it there naturally. So I shake my hair into place and with my texture hair, now I've had it cut into, it's got a really nice sort of just natural texture. So literally my hair literally has, now it's been cut into a nice shape and it's been cut into and sort of chipped into, which means cutting the bulk out of your hair in places to give a nice defined shape, that workability, that easier manageability of your hair, much, much easier, nice. And I say it makes my hair actually look thicker, shorter. Um, what products have I got into it today? So I've just got the lifting paste by VO5. I've used about half a golf ball size amount, rubbed that through my hands, rubbed it through my roots and literally pulled my hair out and literally just sort of scrunched it with my hand and then just gone crazy, which I haven't been able to do for such a long time. That way it's a bit more of a youthful style, a bit more of a freer style and it makes me feel really, really quite confident that I'm, I've got quite a youthful style, but at the same time, I've got the manageability and I still got the same length there to be able to create a nice lift on one side and then swoop it over. So if I wanted that still same style, which I like, and you've seen on a lot of my other clips, I can still do that. Then to top things off, I use my favorite product, which is the Schwartz, uh, Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glue Blasting Through Spray. A quick spray of this and literally rubbing it through, you can lift your hair and pull it off to that side. So literally I've used no combs today. I've used no brushes. I've used no sort of pre-styling 
stuff or anything like that at all, no blow dryer or anything. I've literally just used a little bit of that lifting paste through my hair, shook my hair all around. I've got it cut into that nice style. So I've literally just used fingers through my hair just to create some nice sort of featuring pieces. And then literally through the back, as you can see here, I've grabbed some pieces through and then literally just going towards the back, lifting some up and actually took it through my fingers just off the side here. And then the front, what I've done is I like a bit more of a feature here in the front. So I've lifted my hair out through my fingers, pulled it up and then just swoop it off to the side. As you can see just there, my hair is much shorter. This is quite incredible for me. I haven't had hair this short for a long time, what feels forever. But I have had shorter hair actually but for me now this is as short as I'd like to go uh, it's quite nice as you can see at the sides here it's been cut into and what I do is just sort of flick this off to the side here and again off the side and I've got a really nice sort of length yes I can't cover my hearing aids now is that a major thing no because I wanted to make a change it's so so easy to get bogged down into having longer length hair um, if you want to keep the longer length hair, yeah, I could have had my hair cut into and chipped into. But however, with finer texture hair, would have, I would have thought sit quite flat. Yes, those shorter hairs, if you're chipping into it, thinning it out, would have helped. But I just wanted a complete change. Um, will I grow it back? Not at the moment. I'm really, really happy um, with it at the moment. And my next haircut will probably just get the sides underneath freshed up. Because I've had like an undercut. I've still kept the undercut. But the top I've had really cut into. When I looked down at the cape I had on in the uh, barbers where I was having my hair cut loads of hair was cut out i thought when i was going to shampoo my hair that it felt like i had no hair left i've had that done before i thought that because that's actually happened to me before and it's made my hair ultra thin but this time it's made my hair a real nice style real nice sort of modern quite edginess look and really really nice if i want to i can flick my hair around and i've got i can pull like a bit of a fringe piece in here if i wanted to but what i'm really liking is the texture for ages i've had such a comb sleek very very smart sometimes sometimes quite a stuffy overbearing smartness about things um yes i love that but when you're studying something like i do a lot of studying at the moment when you're studying things sort of like finance and you're in a real sort of pressured role and there's lots of stresses and things going on you can feel it makes you feel it makes me feel so much older than what i am and not youthful so that's why i wanted to go for a bit more of a youthful look um and yeah i really really like it absolutely and if you are watching this one Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you do, I don't tend to get too many views. So that would be great if anybody who is watching this has a look and leave me a comment on that if you'd like. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is a record for me, even though I don't get absolutely loads of reviews, uh, views rather. Um, this channel is all about the bumpy road of life, up and down, good things and things which stand out in my life. Hair is an interest of mine, styling my hair is quite an interest of mine as well. Um, so yes, that's why I'm doing this as well. Um, and the views of course is just fantastic if that happens as well. And I do get some really, really nice comments from my channel as well, um, which is really, really great. There's a few of my clips which has gone really well. Um, and well, all of them go really well, but um, a couple of them are just favouritised I think a little bit more, which is great. But I have had some really amazing comments. So if you are watching and you have left me one of those comments, thank you very much indeed. OK, so I hope you really enjoyed my clip today. That was my refresh of different hairstyle. And I will be sort of playing around with different styles at the moment. I'm still getting used to having shorter hair. Um, it's really, really nice. Hair, hair dries so much quicker, naturally. Um, when I have my hair down to about here, um, down to my top lip, it literally took what felt like a lifetime when you put a styling product into your hair like a root lifting product or something it makes the hair a lot longer to dry off so none of that now so it's really really nice and it's fresh and as i say makes me feel really quite youthful really really like it so we'll be playing around with styles going forward but for now i think that's just about it so thank you very much for watching my clip today and wherever you are it's the weekend i really hope you have a really nice weekend and that you are safe in this really really bad weather and Go for a different style, that's all I can say from this clip today. If you're thinking about it, go for it. Just give you a quick look through my hair, as you can see. And yeah, okay. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.